Al from the Fine Friend. Um, this is a podcast for best friends. We can get together and we talk about everything. No old part. Um, controversial topics. Should that people will talk about while we have drinks. Kicking in at fire. Uh, this is the quad. I'm Steve Al. Scott Miller. Isaac Israel. Um, we all have four completely different backgrounds, and that's what makes our opinion matter. So, let's get it started. Let's go. Oh, yeah, so, um, you guys know very contentious time, so uh, today we're going to talk about mostly politics. Yeah, yeah uh, we're talking about mostly politics today, um, and so uh, I guess we'll start out with uh, the presidential candidates, because, you know, it's so polarized, everybody had to kind of make a choice between one or the other. And these are two very different guys, except for they're both very old and white. Right. So, um, so, Sean, uh, so... So instead of, you know, just going in and attacking, you know, and, and attacking everybody, uh, the two guys, I uh, figured we'd talk about uh, the pros and cons of both. So let's start with uh, the pros of Trump. What do you think? We'll have a more of a height. True, true, yeah. <laughs> All right. But as we discussed, it gets us in the talk effect. So... The pros of Trump, I think that Trump has um, shown us how racially divided we are through his uh, reckless rhetoric and the people that back him. We now see where America really was in regards to race relations and in regards to our government not really being the thing that we thought it was. It's not. It's not a government that is looking out for us. It's a government that is looking out for its own interests. And that's even known by his whole um, trying to lower the taxes and stuff like that. How can a guy that's a, a millionaire only pay 700 years? So you're saying, you're saying basically Trump exposed a lot of what America is. And I'm not pro Trump, yeah. Yeah. but I do look at it from a distance and see what is happening around him and around his administration. What do you think of that, Brandon? Was that a good thing? Uh, listen, I do. I think so. I mean, I, I think that the racial inequality has definitely come to light that it really does exist. Uh, I mean, as you guys can tell, I mean, do be, you best friends are black? I mean, so I have a different, I mean, a different standpoint from a lot of uh, white people on this, uh, you know, way that it works in the U.S. So I see things a lot differently than most people do. Um, so, I, I agree. I mean, it, it has shown us a lot. I think it's come to light now. How, how, just how we, how we call that process. And that's, uh, it's, it's like, no, we're going to get to that later, because that is definitely yeah, but important. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah for sure. You the problem is you know you have it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys exposed the fact that America has a huge problem. The other side of that is that Trump is probably the pro that I would go with. He's not a politician. Well, Trump's not thinking about what he says on the ramifications for his future within that because he'll probably never do anything in politics again. Um, and so he just is, even though it may be very controversial and it may be offensive, he's, he's honest. He just said what he wants to say. Yeah. Um, and politicians are more calculated about it, etc. So I'm not so I think the good part about it is not a politician. You're not not thinking about it, you're trying to see people or even this So people. is he though? Is he though? No, because he's more wrong. Did, well, politicians don't do that. Yeah. Like, they think yeah, about what they say, good. they think about even from a being a Republican, I don't think Trump really cares that much about the Republican Party. Or so he, Trump cares mostly about himself. Truth we would all agree with. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, back to the, I mean, even back to before yeah. the Trump, I mean, back to when Rocky was uh, running for president, he was saying that, you know, that America should be ran as a business, not as a country, right? So, I mean, I kind of agree with that. that means, it's, 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 so that's, you know, when Trump first came to white, I was like, oh, shit, all right, here's somebody. Yeah, but it can't be always about it. I, can, I understand that, but I, yeah. I mean, here's somebody that has a business background that understands the business aspect of it. You know, initially, I was like, 
he hasn't run like a business. If he has, he didn't die because our death is I understand. I'm saying initially coming into this, you're fine. 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 you are fine 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 you are f
maybe I should feel this one. Um, so I would say pros of Biden is he will be a president for everyone. He's not going to purposely use the same tactics as uh, the pre hopefully the previous occupant occupant of the White House, which is divide and conquer, right? Like, you don't hear him saying, you know, look how terrible all these people are, all these but He's not calling Republicans the poor, right? He's not doing things like that. He's not saying things to purposely divide the nation, like corner off his section and but create he, a but fight. Is he just not saying it from a military background? I mean, I feel like divide and conquer is... is you know, strategy in life. You know, but, 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 yeah. but Trump. Biden. No, but, but. Well, so, I mean, the, 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 when he comes military background, I mean, that's, that's what they teach you in the military, to Biden and Congress. Yeah, but, but, but not for your own country. But he said, he said, okay, <laughs> what a pre president says is powerful, regardless of their meaning. Regardless yeah. of meaning. Okay, and Biden did say, which I actually thought was a big plus for him in the last debate, that he was, he, if he becomes president, he'll be everybody's president. Trump is the president of people who like Trump, who is self-centered, who is not be the president of people who don't like him. Biden said I'll be every. I don't know if Biden needs it. Right, 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 but he right, said right. it, and that's important. I think it's that's powerful. Right. From a standpoint of bringing people together, that's an important perspective. That I but agree words with are words. I agree. Words are not yeah, words. Word. No, they're not just words. They are. The words. But they're like the words. Another, no words powerful. of power create action. Right. Period. If Trump said, I want to have a certain person assassinated, there are people who will do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, until, so until that means... Get that order, though, to actually have no, that... No, no, uh, no, 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 no. He doesn't have to get... No, they are so Commander-in-chief. I mean, Commander, like, listen, there are people... My point is, is that he, yeah. if he says to the public, I want to have this person in my he says to the public, that's what he right? But he never gives the order to the... Generals to do that, those wars mean nothing. So I, I, I disagree. I'm saying in a metaphor that people will follow the There are the people who will do that. So, but the metaphor again, friend, 100%. a president can say something and not even mean what he said, but people are going to take that, interpret it, and run with it, whether he meant it or not, or he follows up on it. He's saying, I want to bring the country together by saying, I'm all your friends. That means something, regardless of yeah. what he meant. Okay. I read it differently, so yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Fair enough. Right. It means something. Yeah. Okay, so. I would say that's one of the Pro Oh, you said, what about your pro Biden? He's not Trump. <laughs> there you go. He just said that. I'll drink to that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to Okay, we'll, we'll yeah. start. I hate to be that super busy. <laughs> I mean, listen, I, yeah. I feel like at this point, it's, it was just like the Hillary and, Hillary and Trump thing. It's like we're, we're voting for the lesser of two Yes, which is a horrible place for America to be in with so many genius level people walking around. Definitely. This is what we're left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are there are genius in the city. I agree. There was some yeah. I, I, why didn't you guys run? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, I was, what? I was morning sure. to the I think we're like right. two miles. the way my bank account set up on I need to get a meal. I need to pay my bank account. I'm gonna check my savings. I couldn't. Yeah, it's too. It's too late to carry the war. They went. They went. They, they said it was a holiday, so they had to wait till Tuesday. I should buy Monday. <laughs> All right. So now that we got the pros, con cons of Trump. They go together. They go together. Right. Great. Cons. Uh, again, I feel like. Well, I mean, just like he's done, he's. The light he's brought, he's also brought the, the shadow that, you know, he's brought, you know, brought forth the inequality that we've had in the country. I mean, I feel like it's, it ha he has shown the, uh, the racism that's been brought. He's, that it's actually become more of a focal point now in America. Not that it should be, you know, brought to light. It should be. I think it should just be handled a little bit differently. Uh, you know, now we've, we've had almost race riots and stuff to the extent, right? Pretty much. I mean, so, and... I mean, I don't feel like the way he's handled that. I mean, sure, he's sending the National Guard to disclose, you know, disperse this stuff and this and that, but, I mean, we should have never been in a situation where we had to bring the National Guard to disperse that in the first place. Right. He's taking our country back 50 years as far as the ice. Probably, you know, crazy back. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I would say that's the main thing that, the main issue I have with him. Um, People ask me if I think Trump is racist. My answer is always, I don't know. But what I can say is he says things that racist people like to hear. Right? 
And if you're racist, uh, you're supporting well, what Trump. Do you, what do you say in the first debate? Uh, all, all the boys back? Yeah. yeah. Stand back, stand down. No, he yeah, said stand, 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 stand back, stand down. My thing about Trump being racist is, look, I'm being from New York, is like, he's a white, privileged, wealthy kid that grew up in New York. I can give you 5,000 people that, and it's just, New York is some way to get somewhat segregated in that community. There are no way you live. Yeah. So he has a perspective. Clearly, there is, and he's also from his generation. He's gonna appear to have it, like, like, like my aunt and our grandfather. Oh yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah. 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 Based upon what they came from, I'm not saying yeah. I'm not defending it either by him, by the way. But there's yeah. definitely yeah. parts of him that I can understand that he's going to have a judgment. Like he also is interesting, you know, because of the way he grew up. He's as much, in my opinion, uh-huh. even much like social economical racist as he is black and white, maybe even more so. Absolutely. He looks down on people more than he would even get comfortable. Oh yeah. 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 Well, it, well, it's like what Chappelle said. It was like. Uh, People said in a line with their vote, and these people said, the, the Trump's. Like, the vote, like, you know, what about vote for Trump? He's going to be for us. He felt like, I don't know. No, he's for me. Because <laughs> I'm rich. And it's true. You don't see him posing uh, back in the day with pictures of normal Americans. But you can visualize that they're all with rich. Mike Tyson, yeah. who but had just million, made five hundred million dollars that year. You can visualize that you're telling Nate Delisle, standing around a bunch of white people going to vote. You know, you know, I'm going to vote for this year. I'm going to vote yeah, Chappelle, the next president. Right. Chappelle, the next president. All right, so one of my times with Trump is that I feel pretty empowered to see all of these things that are racist and defense. Like his, his, um, his style of not addressing certain things and addressing some things, it kind of like, it just empowers people that have these older ideologies for ours to like black and white relations. And then he doesn't confuse it. He doesn't go back to it. He doesn't really like tear it down. He just likes it. And, that, and that's where I think he is being a politician. Because I don't, I'm trying to remember why. Exactly. He says in one breath, don't say, I oppose any type of or whatever, but yeah. on the other side, and he, like, he, he did, although it wasn't publicly known, he did both do it, and he's an and KKK as terrorists, for a deal. But what the problem But the word of his mouth is Antifa, Antifa, Antifa. Well, right, yes. Okay. Yeah. But he didn't, no, but he didn't do that for a long time. He didn't put KKK in there with him. Yeah, right, right exactly. And the other side is, um, I think, like, I think it's the political side of that will, not, I'm sure we wonder, like, why? Like, how can anybody not denounce, you know, any organization that's got that, that much hate? Oh, it's that's where I do. He was probably. Exactly. You know where I'm going with it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 He was being delivered. He has a strong voter base there. Yes. Yeah. He yeah. does. Yeah. He, he knows he needs that vote. Yeah. The which, which, to be honest, yeah. which, yeah. which, yeah. which, which, to be honest, which is, which is interesting, right? Because it's not as if those people. Right. It's right. not as if those. If, it's not as if those people would. Um, turn around, wake up tomorrow, and he didn't do that, and say, oh, I guess I'll go for mine. Right. <laughs> it wouldn't happen. But they might not be as strong as if he didn't But it's not as if half of these people would go for mine. All right, now let's put your cons for bite. Cost of budget. Cost of budget, I mean, I feel like it has the lack of support that he has from like big organizations. He kind of like so, like just like a team that has no uh, backing from any kind of police or, you know, government, you know, military background. Scott, does that matter to you? Not really. Our military is so overfunded and so powerful. I'm not saying it's not overfunded. I'm saying that we've got more than the next 26 military people worldwide. Uh, but I'm. No, 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 go ahead. Ahead. no, go ahead, go ahead. No, I mean, I feel like the lack of, lack of support that he has from those, those places shows that, that makes it's... That makes Right, makes the state You know what I mean? That he doesn't have those people on board to take care of them. And let's be honest, we have to defund the police stuff. But the people that are asking to defund the police, like, since you are asking for police to be there to help them, and then that they're going to do crisis. But, but I, want, I want to interject there, because the military did not support uh, not. How they, first of all, I don't think the military can support a candidate anyway. So like, it's not. I'm not saying like, yeah, yeah. like the police. Okay, so like the police. Just to be clear, uh, we'll sum up the whole level now. Okay, so does okay, so good question. So does the fact that Biden um, doesn't have the support of police organizations 
immediately. Well, no, because, well, because you know, this has become a little bit of a but you be told, Vice has done more to support the police and to criminalize people than Trump has ever done. Oh, no, true. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. That's true. That's true. That's true. So this, the reason that that's Biden... That's true. Very fine, Bill. The reason that, yes, the reason that Biden kept the fire and never got fire with a lot of the stuff we're talking about. He basically just wants to sit back and kind of let things watch things and try to have a better understanding of things. But at the end of the day, I don't care who either one of you guys is elected. I can assure you there's going to be the police force behind the police. And, and hopefully there is somebody that does something to say that reform. The reality is civil unrest and the crime of growth is going to be addressed by either president going forward. I don't I, 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 Both parties in the past have done yeah. that. Um, exactly. And again, are they going to do it in a way to, to address issues? And, and in fact, you've got to a large percentage of the police that are racist and the way they put them. It's me, and I've said this to you guys, I believe that becoming a cop is a breeding ground for racist people. What better job I agree. to get into a career if you're brought up to be racist? So you're always taught not to hear it, so you become a cop and you have power. Yeah. So, so, okay. there's no, and by the way, think about that for a second. I have a little friend of mine, a man who was going to go to school with, growing up, and everybody became cops. You can usually suppose that there are people you know that can give them the power. The power. The kid that got bullied, now the cop, become a bully. Sorry, I'm not okay. going to all cop. I don't know. I love this cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To be clear, we, the quad, we support law enforcement, but we support uh, fair law enforcement and justice. So. And taking care of people as well. So, I mean, I guess I have to, uh, you know, a lot of people have different patterns. Because you look like a cop. Because I've worked with a lot of people. 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 i like most of America. Now let's stick to the cons on Biden. Okay. So my cons on Biden are is first of all, you can't overlook that crime. You can't overlook his track history and what he had to do. I mean that was hundred percent voted for. All hundred percent voted for the crime. Yeah, but I mean it was all work in Texas. And I like that's something you can't look past. And then alright, that's one thing. My second thing is she is an older man and physically looks senile sometimes. And I can't I can't really look past that. I've seen I've seen no, I think of I think of him like when when the four of us get incredibly fucked up, that's pretty much that's that's my out of bed. And then like he's a little weird around kids. I mean there are oh, you can't sniff no, some, yeah, yeah, some kids' heads. You can't sniff some girl over there. Right. I look that's you can go down, down the rabbit hole. You're going back you're going back down a guy I'll get a red gear where that type of that type of stuff that type of stuff that met in that context. I don't know if I buy that. Yeah. I don't know if I buy that. Man. I don't care what like, era it is. You can't just go to some girls to fucking under that. Just because you're an old white guy does not mean you're a pedophile. That's me, man. Fuck the old white guy was a pedophile. I'm not saying it up, but when you sit there, it goes there. It's a little bit right. Who was Epstein really good friends with? In the, in the middle of a press. Right, right, right. 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 Sniffing some kids here. Right. Right. Trying to kiss her on the cheek. And right. she's like, 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 no, 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 thank you. Okay, so, okay, so. I'm just saying you never saw a single one. Hey, it's creepy. I'm just saying you never saw a single one. True. Oh, he did. All right, he did. So, with that in mind, I got one. We are going to take a really quick commercial break. Good time. Right back. All right. So, we're back to the block. Degenerates. So we have to go to um. All right, 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 right. Yeah. Call. Scott, I think you had uh, you had to go. We're talking about the crime bill. Is on yeah. My thing was showing off the crime bill, and I was like, not understand with that because at the time it was hundred percent forty. Now hindsight, so we can all pay money when a quarterback. Um, the crime bill, Professor Metaphor, incredibly messed up. Super and, and, and everybody that that terminology was. Yes. So, my problem with it isn't, I mean, obviously it was bad, and it was 
should happen. My problem is that looking back and recognize your mistakes and why acknowledge so it's good to apologize for which is I think is a powerful thing. Right. But nobody's but done anything about done. it. So yeah, it's yeah. gotta change it. Like that kind of still exists with rules and laws and mandatory minimums, all the things associated yeah. with it. Incarcerating incarcerating right, incarcerating people who are substance abuse or any mental health or not incarceration. And I look positive even most about like all this political substance. And even the BLM is not being oppressed. But that's the problem. Like, why is it that we're going to stop this immediately? We've got to let people have an attitude of mental preservation and substance problems and get them out what they need and get them back into the society and, and, and correct, right the wrong. Yes. I mean, that's all I'm getting at. So, no, that's, my problem. Really that's my problem with your point is that not that he voted for it, my problem is that not that he did in the office with Obama for eight years and they didn't do shit. I know, but until Kim Kardashian came in, and then they wanted to talk. Well, I think my wife did this in the federal government. Yeah. 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 And they did part of a lot of people. But that's not enough for me. That's why they didn't have Kim Kardashian. I like that he's strong. I like that he's strong. It's a Kardashian or a Let's not talk about what else. Let's not talk about the current issue. Okay, let's get Kanye and Kate Brown. So, okay, so, so, you, so, okay, so you're saying that um, Biden should have done more. I'm glad you said over the time is the PP, which is still not president, but it's more. It's still uh, happening. It's, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly. Obama. I've been exactly. Obama too. I'm both. No, no, I, I'm the same point in both of them. And I agree. Um, what I'm saying is so, like, um, you'll hear a lot of people say he was, how long has he been in the Senate? 47 years. 47 years. 47 years. You know, I'm like, listen, that's not the same as president. So let's not act like it is. But, like, but when he actually was the he should have known. I think we can agree. But when you look at what people think when they're two, you know, you got Bowie Burger, it ain't. Yeah, oh, really? No, no, it's, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not the better. And like the things that he said, even like, I don't want to get into it, but yeah, yeah. He's, he said some very hurtful and detrimental oh, things. Especially for a guy that's running for president, because now we're in an ancient time where social media and computers, we can look up what you said 20 years ago. So is he a one term president? I think you're fine with this. Like, if you do not do that, I really. I think he is. I don't think he's gonna make it to the year. I think Kamala Harris will be. Yes. Yes. Kamala will make it to the year. Kamala Harris. This is something you can't do. Nah, you know what I mean? Like, this is something you can't do. Nah, you know what I mean? From a Dominican standpoint, it's a challenge. Whoa. So, but on a real note, though, he's not the one saying he makes it first. No, his cognitive decline in four years is not, and he's how he won't make it years before college. So, do you buy into the cognitive decline? Is he really like that? I mean, I'm like, I watched him in the debates. I feel like I, I didn't really see a guy who was who I lost it. I saw him able to take. I I saw him able to take a question. And have say okay, I need to divide. He, he would take the last debate, and he would say, and he would say, hey, I have three answers for you. But I would so say, I think he's like, that's a multi-pronged question, and he was able to save in his mind and say, okay, I'll answer this one, then this one, then this one. That's not really the sign of someone with cognitive. But that's that, 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 that's like that. So we can't. Yeah. Well, so let's move on to the next time. What what's the country going to look like over the next four years? What do we expect? Well, what do we think? Yeah. So everybody's all up in arms about how dramatic things are going to be. And my argument is that we've been, as I told you guys, but, you know, between the Bushes and Clintons and Obamas and whatever and Trump, my life has not particularly changed at all. Yeah, right. So I feel like the threat of the presidency is not a, a major concern of mine, although I believe it's be Recently. So, but now that we know, like, what is it, what do we think is really going to happen based upon what we get from that talk and, um, and what that looks like? So we'll start, John, what, what, what are the little ideas? Let's start with Biden this time. What happens if Biden gets like, what do you think is really going to happen with our society, the economy, etc.? Like, it, 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 I feel like it's, it's just kind of like a wall. Everybody's like, 
everybody does. The presidents really don't have all the power. They they have people that have interest in the endorsements and all of that. So they have to based on the agenda that people back. So people people create um, financial revenue from these tax and these people. But like you said, he's up here and like we're down here. The president is doesn't really have that they like. Yeah. Okay. So how do you think okay, so within that if 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 I elected what do you think? Uh, will or could happen? I'm going to get into the race. Trump? Trump? That's a business I'm uh, yeah. Hey, that's one thing I will say. Uh, the business, the business, the business, the taxes, and all of that stuff. Trump's kind of business. Trump's kind of been all right. Hold on. Everybody's talking about business. COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. COVID in the market.
<laughs> hey, I knew about the metaphor that God said to Moses. It's a good thing there's no vaccines. I didn't design it. Yeah. 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 So, okay. For real, I'm not going to the side of the door saying, I don't know if I were, I would have been happy. I'd be more to this house. I'm not going with one person. Uh, okay, all of you. We've got a lot of people that are intelligent people. Yeah. 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 But by the time you all of you have been through, like, a stuff against me, get it. Oh, we're going to good for it. Well, this is not. I got money. I'm not going to run away. I'm not going to go. Okay. The first round of vaccines, now I'm away. It's like a update. It's like a new phone. Like, you know, you know, wait, 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 Okay, fine. Okay, all those Where you put the money is fine. That's my first argument with the vaccine. Squeaky will just That's fine. Okay, I get you. That's my first argument though with the vaccine. You might be right. And that's my first argument. Wait a minute, you had to say that. Then my second argument is, and this is very selfish, and we've had arguments with you. Yeah, I knew a lot of people with you, but for real. Um, I, I, it's so selfish that you call me selfish. I'm all right with this. But. I'd probably take it to the regarding the Many of us here are I'm here a life bucket. All my friends, and most of my friends, So where do I have to socially distance? I'm going to point it out. I'm going to point it out. Look, if you were in a risk position, you're a risk. You're a risk. And you have other allies. Everybody's here. 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 Everybody's here.
culprits, because we can all agree the media, the media plays a part. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm just, I'm just giving you guys three reasons. So like, out of these three, what's the? How would you rank them? One, two, three, or here? Like media, Trump, and social media. The modern media is about how are we going? To do? What are we going to do about this shit? That's my oh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. But we got, we got to talk about the black line. Yeah, there you go. Why I do want to see why right now is our energy, our
more. They're like, fuck and, you. Right, they're like, fuck, fuck you guys, you know, and you're, and you're 10 people per group. Oh, we're just and, you know, I expect that. Like, well, if they can't be identified the way a business can, right? It'd be sued or kind of liable or sure. fined. And, you know, so there's there's a lot that goes into that, that, right? Yeah. What's Amazon of all this? The protesting? The protesting? I mean, I, they, they wanted to prove their point that, that, that you know, that their work, their don't get me wrong, there are racist problems. Yeah, but, but, but what is the solution? That should be brought to life. What's the solution? Yeah. Is there a solution? No, but yes. there's a plan. No, there is. There, is. there has to be. There, there, is, there, has to there be. is a solution. Right, Do we so know that? Let's, let's, let's take that to the last topic. That goes, is there a yeah, solution? That goes, is there that a solution? Goes, there there goes, there Do we know what that solution is yet? Oh, I know what you got. I don't well, we're going to start with you, Brady. What do you think this is? How do we fix the divide? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like we you know what the solution is yet. Because, because listen, honestly, there, there's just so much lack of knowledge from people. I don't know that we know that what the solution is. So, I don't know. So what's the objective? What's the objective? What's the objective? Solution to know what are we also... What's the solution? The solution of what? Before you get to the solution, what's the objective? What's the solution of what? Of, 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 of killing racism? Yeah, no, you know, it's not racism. Well, we need to come together in general. Right. How do we come together? Sure. And all, you know, Absolutely. in general. That's the solution. It's not just racism. It's not last time. What is the, what is the solution? How do we come together now? How do we do it? That's our, that's our, that's our, yeah. I, 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 don't think we know how to do it. Roughly? Yeah, we'll do that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spitball, spitball, we don't, 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 to me, to me, to me, we, 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 I like it. Do, 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 do we do we flip the, the script and say, listen, like now all the people that have are billionaires now, listen, that money doesn't our money doesn't matter. No, we don't say about walking these shoes, you gotta be discriminated against. Fine, sure. Let's, do let's, do so let's, let's, let's flip the script completely again. You're not getting a billionaire. Now, 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 now our money means nothing, right? Now our money means nothing. So your money means shit for the person who is a billionaire. You can make white people feel an ass with Right, so again, our money means shit. No, that's Our money means shit. Money means shit. Why do little kids go by? Why do they choose a white dog or a black dog? They were taught the black dog. Yeah. 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 So to flip your script, we, you, you, what you're saying, not to say the script is powerful, but we teach kids that the white dog's bad. I'm my daughter on my No, no, I'm saying this though. It's a real, some real shit. What? I think the solution is I'm not talking about, you know, formal education, but I think we need to start really young and teaching youngsters it's how, not, how to think, it's right? Not, it's not the kid goes to parents. Yeah, no, it, it is the parents, but at the same time, the kids aren't taught racism. No, no, I, 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 get, I get what you're saying, but we need to have a pitch in the home anymore. Yeah, exactly. But what you can No, I get how we do it. It's like, there's a so like, you need to get a formalized way of teaching kids how to think and to synthesize information and to be able to do away with what's real and what's not. You have to start at a very young age with that. And I think when you do that, have a much more educated populace, you have a, a populace able to think. It's not enough to learn knowledge. Knowledge is, in, especially since we have since we have Google now, everybody has I, I, knowledge. I, I, didn't, I didn't know racism exists until probably I don't know. Like, I didn't I I Okay, would you stop and you like it? Yeah. Hear me out, Sam. So, 
So I think I went to struggle with that. Like, how do you how do you treat how do you act in the moment, whatever? Well, I mean, you kind of focus on the other one judging who you are as a character and a person. Yeah. Uh, and then, which is how it goes. And then I'm going to go incredibly sarcastic with you being far away from it. Uh, but, but I don't even know who my heart is. I only know what I say about yeah. you as a person. Yeah. But that's the part that I, feel I see that the part of our society has to get into. Like, look, it's not okay to discriminate in a sense. But you also have to understand who you are and how you see you are and embrace society and say, okay, am I only gonna am I only looking at you because you're black or am I looking at you because of who you that's are? A great, that's a great thing because I, I had I had an idea I had a deer and asked me one time, and this was my last thing. Yeah, he said if you were walking down the street, in the middle of the street, and you had to go left or right, and there was a white guy walking on one side, and a black guy walking on one side, what side was the street? black guy, I said, listen. I want to be the black guy. I said, listen. I said, that's it. Oh, no, that's, that's, right. that's a real question, right? Like, like, like what side of the street would you walk? Okay. And, I, and would those be the only two determining factors? Right. 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 I wasn't even thinking about that. I mean, so, yeah, that was, I mean, yeah. you had to drive the street. We got that car. At the end of this, at the end of your I'd love to be Well, you're the moderator. I am the moderator. So, what I personally think is that we should do to fix it all, and judge me the way you judge me. I'm a very interesting way of thinking. We burn this bitch down, and we start it all from scratch. I think there's two things that are set into motion. There are two establishments, there are two things that have jurisdiction over our life. Burn this bitch down and truly make America great. I feel like we did it a little bit differently. I feel like this. I feel like this. I feel like we did it. We get rid of it. I don't believe in that like that. But, yeah. Alright. So, listen. I feel like we get rid of Democrats and Republicans. I didn't finish. We have a central fucking You can't do that. So, ladies and gentlemen. They're not going to go away. They're not going to go away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the plot, and I want to leave everybody with one final remark. Grand Facebook. City Girls is what happens when two girls from the SLD class form a rap group. Boom. I want to leave you with a plot. Hold on. I want my boy Tyler to come in and jump in front of this camera. You're going to have that later. Turn around, bro. Are you a flop? Are you super flop? Yeah. <laughs> what up? That was